Hello, I'm Robbie here of Wasteland TV, and folks, I'm here to tell you about three ghost stories that I heard about this park. Pioneer Park. Pioneer Park. A lot of people call it Scout Park. Uh, yeah. But, um, basically, I'm going to tell you all three stories I heard in Boy Scouts about this park. And they're going to be spooky. At least I hope they will. Or they'll make you laugh. Either way, I'll consider it a victory. Hello! Well, we are right here where, supposedly, a satanic ritual of some sort took place. I'm serious. They told us that apparently some kid got really angry at people that was bullying him and apparently sacrificed a goat right here, right where this table is. And apparently those bullies wound up dead within the week. Yeah. Nothing like a good place for a satanic ritual. Can, 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 you know, you got three nice trees making a good, nice triangle. You know? Yeah. So is that why they made they chose this spot because of the three trees? I believe so, because basically you have the three trees, so that makes a triangle, so it looks almost already like a ritual spot. The three trees draw your eyes to the center right off the bat. And, and Which would be you, right about there. Yeah. Which may, and when I when this was done with me, right, this table wasn't here. So we literally had this little the three trees here and nothing right here, so it really made us go, ooh. It looked like it had been disturbed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing like telling your kids that sons, <laughs> the way to get rid of bullies is to call forth the power of Satan. Because Satan rules. <laughs> yeah. Rock and roll, dude. Okay, the next tale we're going to tell is more of a classic kind of ghost story. Basically, people say that along here that you'll see a girl about um, 16, 17 basically... Does um, she have a name? Uh, not that I can remember. Is she wearing white? Uh, no, she's wearing school clothes because apparently she was out here and she What got, year is her school clothes? Um, I believe 70s. There was no uniforms in Riverbank. There weren't? No. No? no. Well, apparently, well, then I guess this is already confirmed with the yes. <laughs> but let's hear it. But anyway, the girl is supposedly walked back and forth through here because she was hit by a car and died here. By this hard traffic we see going up and down the street. <laughs> That's just too awesome. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the story is falling apart by the second, but basically this is the next ghost story that they shared with us. I guess this is what us. you get when you tell 12-year-olds. Yeah. So go on, tell the story. Um, basically, that's basically it, is she got hit by a car. That's it? They didn't try and go, <laughs> this, this girl with, with her heart broken was walking home. Nope, no suicide, no nothing, just she got hit by a car and now she's a ghost. I'm there's, serious. There's no pain, no tragedy, no nothing. No, I, I don't think they were trying. I just think this was, this was something they did to kill an evening with us. Did they say you forecasts were stupid? Did they just look at they go, look at the little Down Syndrome kid named Robbie? Uh, probably. So, I'm, where's I'm, the I'm next location? Um, well, we're going to head over here for the last story. Hello. Well, we come to the final story, which involves this entire little playground site. Basically, at night, some people claim to see children playing on this, um, set, I guess you'd call it? I don't know. On this particular set? Yes. Or are you talking about the old one? Um, well, I believe it was an older one, but now that they've... Because did you have this when you were there? I, this style? Actually, I think it was a different one, but I, I can't really remember directly, but I think it was different. But basically, they told us that the reason they, they people would see things is because apparently an idiot came and shot a bunch of kids here, and now the ghosts of the children that got shot now play eternally on this set and that when kids slide down the slide or stuff sometimes ghostly children will slide down with them you're kidding no 
ghostly children slide down this. Yes, or play on this. Or kids will turn around and they'll suddenly see another child right next to them that wasn't there before. And that has no parents. Has no parents or appearance? Appearance, I think. And how old were they even when they told these stories? Uh, like 11, 12. And you believed it? No. Did uh, you go home and go, ah, mommy, I heard about you. I admit this one and the other one, and, and the one with the girl, right, getting hit didn't scare me, but I actually thought the satanic ritual one could be an actual one. Yeah, it could be, actually. It has more meat to it. Yeah, I think what happened was the counselors each tried to come up with a story, and one guy did a good job, and then the rest slowly did, you know, had little and less and less to work Who was with. The, were they all told the same night? Um, yeah. Who went first? Um, the master. And which one was that one? The satanic one there? No, no, the master, um, yeah, the master did that one. No, the master didn't go first. The two, um, other guys that were with him did, um, this one and this one. Then the master did the last one with that one. So, the master had a better story in the end. Yeah. It was like a one of. Yeah. It was like, the first one was this one, and then this one, and then the, the end, they ended so with that run, one. So, run, run up there and get on the slide. Let's see if there is ghost children. Oh, come on. I, I don't know. I don't think it can even fit on this thing. There's the other side. Oh. Oh. There's a stair. Oh. Let's look, you can get through here. Ow. Ow. Uh, now, Brandon would get stuck. Is your head okay? Yeah, it's okay. Because you didn't hurt nothing of value. Oh, very, very funny. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we gotta get the shot. Wave, because you're gonna, you're gonna be seeing ghosts. Let's wait, see. let me get to the end, over here, before you slide down. So, this is so... This is so embarrassing. Uh, Russ... <laughs> you're stuck? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're gonna end it here, because the ghost got Robbie stuck. <laughs> Hi. Well, we've reached the end of our little um, ghostly tour. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the stories. Some were better than others. Um, I'm happy that I was able to share these stories with you. I hope you enjoyed them, even if it was just for laughs. So how old were you when you did uh, Boy Scouts uh, and came out here? I believe I was 11 or 12. And how old are you now? And the ghosts still keep you stuck in the slide. <sighs> so, if you had to choose one place here to tell a ghost story, where would you choose to tell it? One place here? If you had to choose a ghost story. i choose the trees like, like um... You're just t saying something that everyone, if you didn't know nothing about it... Oh, if I didn't know nothing about it? Um, I'd probably make something up about That's what I'm saying, because it seems like the counselor made something up. Yeah. Like you got the the fine traffic that ran over the little girl. <laughs> yeah. You've got the uh, satanic children. ritual with the tree set in a, dr uh, in a nice in, triangle. Yeah. Um, actually, and then you got the kids with a shotgun being killed on the on the playground. Well, considering Scout Hall is right here, I would have made a ghost story about Scout Hall. What would your Scout Hall ghost story be? I just say it's haunted. That basically. Um, some guy, some scout master hung himself here and now his ghost wanders the halls. At a certain time during the day or night? Or throughout the day? Or throughout the day, so that way it's ambiguous enough for it Anyone to be... Anyone can come in and add yeah. to it. Yeah. So, is there anything else you'd like to say about to the people of Riverbank about uh, Scout Hall and, and uh, Scout Park about their Boy Scout ghost stories? Um, if they're real, what is wrong with this place? If not, well, at least you found a way to kill time.